Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can find a quarter or we can extract a quarter from a date. So let's learn one of the method by formula. So let me explain you step by step in a separate or a helper column and then we will execute that solution in, in one specific column altogether. So let's say if I want to ex extract uh, from these dates the number of the month. So we have uh, available function in Excel which is equals to month and we will just give a cell reference where we have the date. So what the month function gives us as a return number of a value and it extract the specific or that particular month number from a date okay so now here you can see that we have dates starting from 1st January 2021 till December 1st 2021 so we have all together all 12 months of 2021 calendar and what we have so far done in a separate column or a helper column is that we have extracted uh, the number of every month in a separate column right so you can see a number from 1 till 12 now you know that in each quarter there are three months so quarter is being formed uh, having three months in it right so the first quarter has three months the second quarter has three months and so on so for for instance if i say that divide that specific month number by three you will get another number right and the same logic i will apply in the whole column so now you can see that uh, when i divide a number a month number uh, by three because we know that uh, every quarter consists of three months so at, at the third month it gives me a return value that is one at the sixth month of the year it returns two and ninth month it gives me three and so on in the last quarter the last month of the year it gives me four now what if if I make this decimal numbers and I do rounding upward so that it can be converted but it would not be of uh, more than this particular number at the end of third month so if i do a rounding up of 1.3 it can be 2 1.6 it should be 2 and at the sixth month it it's definitely 2 similarly if i do a round up of this 2.3 number by using the round up function it will go still 3 again for the eighth month 2.6 it will go to 3 right so let me demonstrate you uh, so if I say round up this number which is in d3 and we don't want num digits so I will put 0 here and bracket close so now you can see that uh, we got 1 1 1 right for the first quarter 2 2 2 for the second quarter and for third quarter and fourth quarter so now if I uh, use Q with the inverted comma sign or the quotes you can say and the m percent and i join this resulted value so we can uh, now see that uh, we got easily uh, when we have the date either it pertains to quarter one quarter two quarter three or quarter four so let's say if i change or add any specific date for example uh, fourth 13 2021 20, so now this is 13th april 2021 so so this will lie into quarter two so now you can see that we have a result of quarter two right so i hope that you learn uh, that how we can extract the quarter column uh, from the dates column right and if you want to do in one specific column rather than using uh, so many helper columns or the extra columns so it's very easy let me now give you the final result so this column will be of quarters right and uh, now we will start from round up and in the number we will define another function we will nest another function that is month which will extract the number of the month and we will divide this uh, by three because we know that every quarter consists of three months and we don't need num digits in rounding function so when I press enter I got the 2 
if I change the date for example 1st January 2021 I got one here right so I will copy and paste this entire logic in my this specific column and if I want uh, quarter Q here so I will put that Q in quotes and the percent sign right so easy and I hope you learn that how this logic is being working uh, there are more than one way to get the quarters uh, from the dates column there are five different formulas methods uh, here it is so you can pause the video and and try the other logics as well if you like that they they are more easy uh, right and i hope you like this video do share it thank you